What's going on everybody? Welcome to the 32nd Pi Game Tutorial from Harrison at pythonprogramming.net for Bucky and the New Boston and his lovely subscribers. Uh, this video we're going to be talking about making our font a little more appealing as well as changing the font sizes and including that in our message to screen capabilities as well. So let's go back up to message to screen. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this code here. We're not using it anymore. We don't need it. Um, and now what we want to do is first of all um, let's say we'd have we want to have message color y displays and then we're gonna have another parameter and that's gonna be size and then the default size we're gonna use is going to be um, small for now we're just going to assume that they want small text unless they say otherwise um, so we want that now that means that we might want to have like various sizes of fonts. So let's go back up to the top here and where are we defining our font? I don't see it. Am I blind? Oh, here we go. <laughs> I am blind. So we've got font. Now we kind of want to change this to like small font. I, I think we'll do that. And then, uh, well, we're going to change something else too. So so sysfont references your system font. So on Windows, that is going to be I'm trying to think on the location. Of the, I think we'll probably hit on that in another in the video when we go to rent, like turn this into a distributable because sometimes you have to change it. I think it's in like Windows and then like fonts and then you've got like all your list of fonts. Sysfont will reference those. Um, you may need to use font dot font, just straight up font. If, and then you can reference the full path to any font. So you could download a font like on Google or, or something like that to your computer. And it's usually like a .ttf. And you can reference that font if you wanted. We're going to use sysfont just because it's the easiest. But if that's not working for whatever reason, you can use .capital font and then find a font online, download the font file, um, and go off that. So sysfont. And then we're going to use uh, comic san... Uh, Comic Sans MS, Comic Sans MS, yes. And then the small font will be 25 pixels. Now we're going to copy this, paste, and paste. And then we're going to say the medium size will be 50 and the large will be 80. And then we're going to call this uh, med font and then large font. Then when we go to actually call uh, the function here for text objects, what we're going to want to do instead of text, te like you pass the text true color. And so actually, where are we calling font here? I gotta find it. Where are we calling font? Am I just like completely blind? I just don't see it. Oh, here we go. Font render. Okay. Um, so what we'd want to do is we really need to change um, this, like text surface. So we want to pass, like we've got size equals small, for example. And then we want to be able to say like message, color, and then comma, uh, size. We want to pass size through. And then we'll edit this one to pass size through as well. And then we'll come over here. And basically, we're going to ask a bunch of is statements. So if size equals small then text surface equals small font dot render text true color and that should be totally fine and then then we can copy this and come down here paste and paste and let's make these elif statements since it will only be at one point the so elif and then this will be uh medium if we put through medium now it's med font and then if they put through large it's large font and then uh, that should be it that should render those fonts Text objects. Okay. so then uh, once you're done there what we'll want to do is we'll come down to where is it let's just type font game over <laughs> Game over. There we go. Um, so we've got message to screen, red, Y displays, and then we'll say size equals, and we'll call this one large. And then over here, uh, let's go to the end of this. And heck, um, just for the record, 
When you have text like this, some people like to do this. Uh, I don't know if it's Pep8 or not. I can't remember, but um, and by that I mean like if this is like the standards that people accept. But when you have like really long text like this, as long as it's within parentheses, you can do things like this. So when it's in function definitions, print statements, classes, this kind of stuff, uh, lists, you can do this. So you've got comma, and you can just literally hit enter, enter, and then enter. And so now we can see all of the parameters really easily. They're not like running off the screen. It's also just easier to read them when they're like in a list like this as opposed to like one after the other. So just as a quick aside. So that's what I'm gonna do here just so it's easier for us to see it as well. And then 50, and then this one we're gonna say uh, size equals medium. So let's go ahead and save and run that and see what it looks like. So not bad, uh, that fits the screen and I'm not really, I don't think I'm gonna change anything about that for now. So we've got game over plus C to play again or Q to quit. It looks a little more friendly, you know, than the other one if you recall the other one, man, that was way uglier. So this looks a lot better. <laughs> um, makes me uh, want to play the game more, you know. So that's good. Now there's just a couple other things I wouldn't mind adding as well. We still obviously we want to change uh, the icon here. We want to add score, and then maybe like some sort of easy to read like start screen uh, will do as well. So. Uh, that's what we have to look forward to. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, uh, and you have a menu that looks much more uh, beautiful than before. And as always, thanks for watching.